In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a cartoon effect in Photopea. Hi there and welcome to the video. If you would like to follow along, you'll find a download link in the description box below. Firstly, create a duplicate of the background layer by pressing Ctrl or Command J. Then, make the layer a smart object by right clicking and choosing Convert to Smart Object. Our effects will be stacked up within this smart object so it can be adjusted later. First, we'll add a shadow and highlight adjustment. This will help to brighten up the shadows for more detail. The default settings in this were fine for me, so I didn't change anything and just clicked OK. Next, add a vibrance or hue saturation adjustment so we can make the colours really pop. This will help to enhance the final result. These amounts will vary depending on your image and personal tastes, but I would say if in doubt, go a little more than you think you need. Now, go to the filter menu and choose filter gallery. Under the artistic section at the top, select poster edges. This will add some fine edge detail to the pixels, which will help to strengthen the final result. Experiment with different settings, but for me, these values are what I went with. Now, go to the filter menu, and then stylize and choose oil paint. Uncheck the lighting box near the bottom, and then the only parameters you need to adjust are the radius and cleanliness values. These will alter the strength of the effect. 5 pixels for each is a good middle ground I found for this image. And press OK when you're done. Now we need to go back to the filter gallery once again, but this time I'm going to choose the cutout effect. This effect gives the image a chunky, almost vectorized look. The three adjustments here change the overall complexity of the filter in different ways. Again, feel free to experiment, but I'm going to enter the numbers that I like the most for this image. You might have noticed that this now appears quite different compared to the cutout filters preview we were just looking at. That's because as soon as you press OK on a filter, Photopea updates the image with all the effects we've added so far, and they combine together to create what you see here. But we aren't done quite yet. Double click on the small cog icon next to the filter gallery layer to bring up blending options for that effect. Reduce the opacity to blend this filter effect back with the unfiltered version, which will create a desired look. For this image, I think it looks great set to around 60%. Now is a good opportunity to make any tweaks to the colour that we'd like, so create a blank layer at the top of the layer stack and set the blend mode to colour. Now, with the brush tool selected, simply sample a desired colour and paint it in where you'd like to change. For example, I think the shoulder areas are a bit desaturated, so I can choose a target colour and simply paint over. And here's a tip, if you hold down the ALT key while using the brush, it will temporarily switch to the eyedropper tool, so that you can quickly pick a colour from the image. Let go of the ALT key and it will automatically switch back to the brush tool. I'll speed this section up a bit, but also noticed I whiten the eyes in this stage also. Now I want to add some more pop to this image, so create a brightness and contrast adjustment layer. And a value for 25 for each looks good on here for my taste, nice and contrasty with a really good pop. And if you like this video, please consider checking out another one of my tutorials, which is right here, right in front of you, this one. You can't miss it. And thank you very much for watching.